Legends Tour Q School was a pressure-packed four-day battle at Gloria Golf Club in Turkey to determine which five players would earn their cards to compete on the 2024 MCB Road to Mauritius. 15 players went under par on the opening day, and it was Chris Gain, who had earlier in the week tied first at first stage of Q School, who took charge with a bogey-free 66 for a two-shot lead. He made this up and down for birdie at the par 5 ninth. Three-time Legends Tour winner David Shacklady roared into contention in round two, as he also fired a 66. This approach at eight set up one of six red numbers. That left him tied second with Giotti Randawa on six under. Gain consolidated his lead with a 70 to reach minus eight at halfway. Round three was affected by adverse weather and it had to be completed on the morning of day four. It was the Indian Randhawa who moved to the summit after 54 holes. An excellent 68, including this birdie on 18, took him to 10 under. With Andrew Marshall, Simon Griffiths, Carlos Balmaceda and Lionel Alexandre tied second on minus eight and all inside the all-important top five. Gain had slipped back to six under. It was a quick turnaround for a tense final 18 holes in dry but windy conditions. There's always heartbreak at qualifying school and this year it was Paul Blakey who missed out by a single shot. The Scotsman made a fantastic late charge with a birdie birdie finish but his 70 left him alone in sixth. At the other end of the emotional spectrum, Andrew Marshall clinched the fifth and final card on seven under. He was three over for the day through eight holes, but birdies at 10 and 12 in a bogey-free back nine secured his spot by the narrowest of margins. There was a three-way tie for second on minus eight. Lionel Alexandre came through Q School last year and he repeated the trick in 2024. He was looking comfortable before a double bogey on 17 added some jeopardy to his final hole, but he birdied 18 for the fourth day in a row to seal the deal. Carlos Balmaceda failed to gain a card last year after going into the final round inside the top five, but he avoided the same anguish this time out. He turned in plus one, but a birdie on 10 and eight pars to the clubhouse was enough to get the job done and prompt emotional scenes of celebration. Simon Griffiths also put some Q School demons to bed this week. He missed out by one place at Champions Tour Q School in December 2022 and Legends Tour Q School here last January, but he qualified this week. Two birdies in the last four holes, including this at 17, proved his resilience. But Giotti Randauer never relinquished top spot and he sealed a four-shot win at 12 under par courtesy of a closing 70. He was cruising to victory with a five-shot cushion at the turn before a double bogey at 13 and a bogey at 15, but he sealed a convincing win with a birdie birdie finish, including this exclamation point on 18. Let's hear from the winner. Oh, it feels really good, you know. Um, I'm pretty young for, for you know, starting out um, compared to the other guys. and. Uh, I'm thinking if I, if I could just go in there and you know, win a couple of tournaments or win one, you know, then it makes it more easier uh, going to next year rather than you know, every week, week in, week out. So that would be my, my, my aim to try and win one and then take it from there. 